Hello, I'm a Tsubo judge. Now, 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 yesterday I began talking about, you know, something. You, you want to get into um, whatever you want to do. You want to get married. You want to even start school. You, you want to get into a new business. You want to get a job. You want to move into a new house. Whatever you want to do. Remember what Proverbs tells us. In all your ways, do what? Act knowledge him and he's going to do what direct your path you don't want to make mistakes in life you want, don't want to do things that you have to repeat you know what i'm talking about you know some people don't don't, don't mind this thing oh i'm getting married if it doesn't work it doesn't work here talk well, you know hey that is a wicked way of thinking praise god you know, there are decisions you should make only once in your life and it should be the right decision but how, how, how do you know to do that? You go before the Lord. See? You go before the Lord. And let him guide you. And how does he guide you? He guides you by bringing forth his knowledge. See, that's the beauty of this thing. When you go before the Lord, this is all God gives you. See? He gives you knowledge. And once that knowledge comes to you, it means... Oh, mm, 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 mm. It means that thing that you are seeking has been written concerning you in the book of life. Oh, you, you must learn this discipline with the Lord. You must learn it. See? And, and that's how you build things that are sure and are certain in life. You know, you can start a business today. Out of your, you know, you just look at, okay, it seems people don't have water in this place. Okay, let me start water business. And then you just go ahead and start water business. And then you get so big in the water business. And guess what? You, you, you are done. And maybe you, you get old and then you have children. And none of your children continue that water business. And they began to kill it. And then you're wondering, what's the use? I made so much money from this water business, but none of my children is interested in it. So, so what's the use? Let me tell you this truth. The reason your children are not interested in that water business, two reasons. Number one, it's possible it didn't come from God. What do I mean didn't come from God? If it came from God, that business would have been connected to the foundation of the world. Secondly, if it came from God, you will have testimonies. Now, what people call principles sometimes is truly testimonies. What do I mean by that? Along the line, and this is how businesses are transferred from generation to generation. It's not the factories. It's not the going sending your children to management school. It's them understanding the testimony behind that business. You understand what I'm talking about? They, they, they understand the things that you heard from the Lord. They understand the things that, the, 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 the thoughts that went through your mind. They understand it. And that is what they preserve. Even you, that is what you want to preserve. So everybody sees your business flourishing, but there are certain things you hold on to that are so dear to you. You know what I'm talking about. And then your children growing up, and, and that's, that's what, you know, when the Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That's what they are talking That's what the scripture is talking about. The, the scripture is not talking about leaving money and, and plenty of wealth and things for his children's children. That's not what he's talking about. He is talking about, see, that the inheritance, when you read this from the Amplified Version, he says, a, a good man leaves an inheritance of moral stability and goodness for his children's children. So, your children understand when they look at what you're doing as their daddy, or as their mom, when they look at what you're doing, they see what every other person don't see. Every other person is seeing the money that this, 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 this company is making. But, but your children don't look at the money. They are seeing the principle. They are seeing the driving force of that business. And because they know the testimonies behind it. That's why when, when, when you look around the world and, and you try to look around for businesses that have, that have gone beyond two generations, to the third generation now, you will realize something. Go to the head of that business. You will find that, when I mean the head, I mean the, 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 the initiator, the one who got the vision for that. You will find out that such a person was a godly man. You can do the search for yourself. 
You will not find any business that doesn't have a godly person on top that have stayed up to the third generation. You will hardly find. You see, you know what? Because what they pass down is not a business. It's a tradition. See? What, are the, what, what forms tradition? Testimonies. Testimonies. Now, you don't want to start something that was going to finish with you. And that's why I'm sharing what I'm sharing with you. So, maybe you're into a business right now, whatever you're doing right now. Yes, it, it, you know, take out some time. Just pause a bit. And maybe take a weekend. I say, Lord, I want whatever I'm doing to be connected to you and to the foundation of the world. See? And then you go before the Lord and, and, and you begin to let him teach you and let him talk to you. You know what you're doing? You are forsaking your thoughts and you are forsaking your ways because now you, your heart is open. You want to take God's ways into your life. Hallelujah. And begin to produce results in it. Listen. God is ready to bless you. And, and, and when he's blessing you, you know what he's thinking about? He's not just thinking about you. He's thinking about your whole lineage. So he looked at Abraham and says, I don't want to hide anything from Abraham. You know why? See, this Abraham, I have seen that he will command his household after him. And he will teach his children his ways. So that I will bring to pass the things that I have said concerning Abraham. If your children don't continue in the ways that you are walking in, you're not a blessed man. So what do you mean? Oh yeah, you may have all the money today. But if your children don't walk in the principles that you have learned and walked in, you are not blessed. You may be anointed, but you are not blessed. So what do I mean? Oh, sure. You may be anointed, and yet you are not blessed. And that's a big problem. Praise God. I'm going to continue on that tomorrow to, to, to share more light on this so that you will be blessed. Praise God. Have a great day today. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.